Welcome to Book of Acts Now, Global School and Global Ecclesia. We're glad you're here with us today as we're continuing our study in the Book of Acts and, uh, and looking at the Hebrew alphabet. So now the Hebrew alphabet has 22 letters, and the letter we're looking at now is Dalit. This actually represents part of a doorway, and uh, this would have the D sound, Dalit. And so it actually, the word picture for this is door, path, or way of life. And so we're going to look at some biblical words that show us how the Bible writers use this letter. This is going back into the original writings to give meaning, not just based on English, which has different idioms and expressions, but the biblical expressions. So for judge, what does it mean for a person to be a judge? Okay, it's made up of two letters. Here we have Dalit. Now, anytime you see Dalit, it always has something to do with covenant. Now, why would that be? Well, where, where was the blood applied at Passover? On the door. And so, th whenever you see this, it has something to do with covenant. And uh, this uh, noon, uh, life here at the end, uh, this is the letter of noon. That means life. And so, the two letters together, this is Dan. So, uh, Daniel, for example, the prophet Daniel, his name means judge of El or judge of God. And so uh, Dan here is how you pronounce this for judge. And what does it mean? Simply this. He is the door of life. Now, why would God say that a judge is the door of life? Because, listen, if you will allow the word of God to judge your life, allow God to speak into your life and judge your life, he will give you life. And, and so it's important. We don't line our lives up with CNN. Come on now. We don't allow ourselves to be governed by fake media. We allow the word of God to govern our life. So a judge is one who governs, right? And so when we look at the term for judge here, Dan, it means one who governs or judges the life. And so God is my judge. Amen. All right, so uh, the next letter uh, word would be knowledge. And so again, we have door, has something to do with covenant now. And then we have uh, ion, which is to see. And then we have hay, which is to declare. So what does this have to do with true knowledge? Okay, so the door of covenant is the eye that brings you revelation. And, and so, look, you can have revelation about religion. You can go study yoga if you want, which is a religion, by the way. Yeah. Or you can go, go study Buddha. They're all religions. But they don't bring you true knowledge. True knowledge only comes through covenant with Christ. Amen. And so the door to see of covenant brings you revelation, which is what hey means. And this is pronounced dia. Okay, so religion, dat, D-A-T, dat. So you see here the D, the A, and the T. And what is this letter here? This is the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which is Tav. And so if it's in the word, it's, it's a T sound. But what does it mean? It has two meanings, actually. This would be covenant or cross. It can mean cross. And, and so the door of covenant is the cross. Oh, come on. True religion always involves seeing the cross. If you're not seeing the cross and covenant with Christ, based on that, you're, just, you're stuck with dead religion. It doesn't Amen. give life at all. Amen? Amen? True religion. And I like this. The word for blood is made up of two letters. It's the Dalit. Remember the place of covenant? Blood's applied there. And this is Mem. It has two meanings. Now, the word picture for Mem is uh, like the rapids, the water going down the rapids, and you see it just boiling. <clears throat> Massive waters or chaos, right. depending on, on its usage. So here it represents massive waters. What percentage, does anybody know what percentage is your blood made up of water? It's more than 90%. Yeah, 96%. So, <clears throat> mostly water. And so, massive waters. Of course, here we're referring to the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Christ. And so, again, the door of covenant, where you can find massive waters, 
is what the blood of Christ really stands for. Massive waters. That's why the Bible says, are you washed in the blood? Because it will wash you. And it will cleanse you. The Bible says if we confess our sins, 1 John 1, 7. He's faithful and just to wash or cleanse us Amen. from all unrighteousness. Because the blood will wash you. Amen. Amen. Lord, wash me in the blood. So again, our, our review here today. Judge, Dan, it means the door of life. Let, let the Word of God judge your life. Let Him be your judge. Knowledge. Uh, the door of covenant allows you to see true knowledge. Religion. Uh, the door of covenant where you see the cross. And blood. The door of massive waters. Amen. So that's our study with Dalit. Whenever you see this letter, remember this. It always has something to do with covenant. And then you look for the hidden meaning, right? So, Father, bless us that we'll be able to see and access the door of covenant in our journey with you this week. That's what it means, the secret place of the Most High. When you go in there, you've gone through the door. Thank you for blessing us we, as we apply this in Christ Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.